Hamza, Frank said you're one of the best dressed. Um, that must be quite a compliment coming from him. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I kept up an appearance from my first press conference I did. So happy days, man. I mean, coming, trying to compete with him at dinner, don't I? <laughs> last time we saw you was um, you're showing us your recovery. You've just come back to the UK. How's the last week gone? Have you been feeling ready? Everything going to plan? Yeah, no, I've been feeling great. I've been feeling great. Um, it's a good fight I got in front of me. Camp's been good, no complaints, uh, alhamdulillah, nothing like that. And Saturday night, I'm ready to rock. Are you enjoying being the headliner now? I mean, you've been always chief support, that level, so you're kind of used to it. But yeah. is it giving you a little bit extra motivation? Of course it has, of course it has. I think on fight night when they mention it, then I'll, then I'll be like, yeah, this is it, this is it. Obviously, you see it now, main event and everything. But it's everything from, from, from an eight-year-old kid I've been working towards and definitely a, a box tick now. Frank also said after today, if you win, after Saturday, if you win, you'll no longer be considered a prospect to him, you'll be considered a contender. Is that how you're seeing it as well? Or do you think, I'm not a pros you think in your head, I've not been a prospect for a while? Or do you really do think that this is the fight to show that you're a contender? Um, to be honest, I'm not really fussed. I'm not really fussed because obviously I feel like after winning that award, the pro best prospect, I think that sealed me being a prospect now. And I'm in that space of prospect and contender. I'm in that mid space now. So, yeah, hopefully Saturday night I'll put on a very, very good performance and I'll be start, people will start taking me seriously amongst the world champions. The WB silver belt will also be on the line. That will also give you a fantastic ranking of the WBC. Is that a path that you want to maybe go towards, go towards WBC titles in the future? I mean, whatever the weather, IBF, WBC, WBA, all of them, all of them, anything. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm just taking that each step, not getting ahead of myself, staying humble, keeping my feet on the ground. And then hopefully one day when the opportunity does come, take it at both hands and become a world champion. Do you feel a belt like that will also give you extra opportunities of people wanting to fight you for that belt, while now people are like, ah, is it worth the risk and reward? Yeah. yeah, of course, of course, because before people would come come to you and say, what does he have to offer? What does he have to offer? It's, it's high risk, low reward. Now it comes with, comes. it makes sense, doesn't it? But I think I, let me, I need to win that belt first Saturday night. This would be also your second fight at middleweight. Yep. How's that going? Do you feel like, you know what, I'm 100% certain this was the right decision? Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. I mean, 154 was all well and good, but I'm, now, I'm, I'm what, 23 years old now, I'm growing, still getting bigger. Before you know it, we'll do an interview and I'll be at 168 or something like that. But yeah, as for now, 160, I'm feeling good at it. Your opponent is here, he was talking a lot, seems confident. Does that, does that mean something to you in your head that he's going to come and try and fight? Uh, no, I knew that anyway. He's an Argentinian. Argentinians and South Americans, they all come to fight, they all come to give it their best, and that's what he's going to do, and that's what he's going to do. But I'm looking forward to it. Um, I know what he's going to bring, and even if he doesn't bring what I expect him to bring, we're ready for it as well. So happy days. He's had some high, high um, notable performances in the past. Have you been able to watch those and take anything from them, or is that something you're not really interested in doing? I've seen a few clips here and there. I've seen a few clips here and there. Um, but uh, don't matter, don't matter, it is what it is. At the end of the day, when we get in the ring, it's, gonna, it's just going to be me and him. And whatever happens, happens. And I'm sure I'm going to come out on top. With all of training now finished, how are you picturing Saturday night going? Do you feel that like you're fitter, you're stronger right now, and that's going to impact the fight? Yeah, I feel better. I feel better, fitter, stronger. You name it, that's how I feel. I feel better, man. Um, and yeah, I can, like, like uh, young Dennis was saying up there, I can speak for, speak for days, but action speaks louder than words, isn't it? Well, with that said, we wish you the best of luck for Saturday and we can't wait for the fight. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time.